Welcome to today's webinar presented by Supercoder.com. Supercoder.com is an online coding solution offering Part A and B coding reference tools, resources, and not more than 30 specialty coding and compliance newsletters from the Coding Institute in one site. I hope you enjoy this short session. space when reporting the same procedures and can share the information that she has gathered over the years to help make AFC coding easier and more profitable. Ms. Maycock, welcome to the program. We are now ready to begin. Thank you. Well, hello. We have a lot to cover today, so I'm going to get right into it. Um, one of the primary issues when dealing with HBO and wound care is documenting medical necessity. As more as audits are becoming more frequent, more commonplace with not only CMS but other payers as well, it's important that each patient chart have the medical necessity documentation that would support it standing alone, which means that if you're operating a facility, you would not be able to refer to the physician's chart or physician progress notes in order to determine whether or not medical necessity had actually been met for the services that were provided for a patient in your facility. The charts that you maintain for the patient must also contain the documentation that will support medical necessity absent of any other documentation that other providers might be able to supply. There are several places to look when determining what the standard is for medical necessity. I'd like to go over those with you. Uh, CMS obviously provides the best source of determining what is considered to be medically necessary and what documentation is required, what prior treatment is required in order to support a course of treatment for the patient. There are two types of coverage determinations that are published, national coverage determinations and local coverage determinations. Local coverage determinations would be published by your fiscal intermediary, say WPS or Noridian, and they would define what they consider medically necessary when it comes to a specific type of treatment. When a national coverage determination is published, all of the local ones should be retired, and the national coverage determination would govern the treatment, the plan of care for a patient, for all Medicare patients and Medicaid patients in some cases. A local coverage determination sometimes does remain in effect, um, but if you find that there are differences in what your local coverage determination is allowing and what the national coverage determination allows, that's something that you can file an appeal. In the coverage determination, you'll find not only the standard of care, which will mean what types of treatment the patient has to have received prior to beginning a, a, a course of treatment, say wound care or, or hyperbaric treatment. You'll also find the diagnosis codes that would be identified as supporting that particular CPT code or procedure that was performed. And you'll find documentation requirements telling you what medical information you must maintain, like pictures, uh, measurements, etc., in order to support the treatment that was performed. So in addition to making sure that the patient does meet the medical necessity standard, the provider has a responsibility to make sure that their documentation also shows to the standard that is required by CMS that the services were actually performed with the use of measurements and pictures, etc., depending on your coverage determination. I have a link here to the CMS coverage database. I find it very user-friendly. You can search by a CPT code. You can put in a word or a phrase. You can search for retired um, or pending determinations, as well as by location. One of the things that has created a lot of attention on wound care and HPL therapy is the fact that it is an approved RAC audit target. As we know, the, recover the RAC audits have become more and more frequent in the last few years, and their recovery uh, dollars are huge. So when they find that there is a way to or certain procedures or specialties that seem to be particularly prone to error, they target them specifically, and that's what's happened with wound care. Because there was a lot of confusion uh, and... Supercoder is the fastest growing online reference tool with more than 25,000 subscribers. Call 866-228-9252 to get a free product demo or sign up at supercoder.com for a seven-day free trial. 